he come down that hill, he just lost his brakes and come off that corner. Hit electric pole, transformer over the ground. Any kind of situation like this, you're gonna be in the hospital. This guy's lucky to be alive. When we do set it up, we're gonna have to hold it up and then get it going back up the hill with this weight behind us. Sure don't wanna lose our brakes or lose our clutch and go backwards and jackknife everything and tear a bunch more stuff up. It's called, I hear diesel running out of it right now. You hear it? It's pouring out of it. Oh boy, okay. This diesel's running out, could it end up in the lake or uh, end up in the water streams. The only way to try to get it to stop is to upright it. That's gonna be a booger. We're gonna get everything cleaned up. We will probably do every bit of it tonight. I think we're gonna back in here at a pretty good 45. We gotta reach over the top of that thing and bring it to us because we can't get down there at that house. We stand this thing up, and if it was to go backwards, we run right through that house. We're going to block the tires. We're going to chain the tires. We're going to make sure everything happens where it stands up and it stays there. We don't want to make any more damage than what's already happened. It's a pretty bad little deal here. Done right there. We got that some bitch stuck. This is too slick. It won't move. Most generally in the tow truck business, if you if you get stuck, what do we do? We call a bigger tow truck. In this case, there is no bigger tow truck. What else you gonna do? We've got to get creative. This is too slick. It won't move. It's not like it's buried stuck. It's just stuck on on top. So it's not going nearly as easy as we thought or we hoped it would. We're gonna have to pull this thing out. We ain't got nothing to pull it out, but I'm done. We'd have to get a dozer or something to even get it out. I mean, I, we can't get another record in here. I've got one of the biggest tow trucks in the country. I back it in here like I'm a bad boy and I know what I'm doing. And I get this thing stuck. I get out of the tow truck. I feel, I feel about this small. Can't get no traction, so we got a track hoe coming to pull us forward a little bit. That ain't the way I envision my tow truck tonight. In the mud, <laughs> stuck. It doesn't matter if it takes us 10 more hours or two more hours. We're staying until the job is done. Hey, hey! Now we can do a little more work. We'll have that track go help us and get out of here. We're gonna pull the truck out here for the rear. I'm ready. Easy, Nick, easy. Woo! Finally get it out of the mud there. Let's sit up right here, let's get it upright. We need another eight foot green hookup chain. We're gonna take some straps. We're gonna go around the top of this thing, pull up from the heavy side. We're gonna pull down on the tires. We got to get some rotation here, and we're going to bring this thing right back where it should be. That's the plan. Here I come. Out we go. Dang it. This stump is a problem. We got to do something. We're probably going to have to wrap a chain, and I'm going to have to try to use nine and winch it that way, because if it gets in between the tires and that back outrigger were screwed. Then we're gonna have to pick the whole back of the truck to get to the stem out. We've gotta use another wrecker and pull the stump out. Hell, I got it ran out. You might as well hook it. Go ahead. Hold the oh. Man, this son of a gun ain't budging. I'll tell you that much. Chad, do you have your chainsaw? We have millions and millions of dollars of equipment out here. What it comes down to is a $150 chainsaw saving the day and being able to make the operation move forward. Who would have ever thought? We're good right there. That's good. Up she comes. Yeah, baby. Good job. 
We're going that way, you know, it won't be in our way, so we'll be okay. The tree stump being in the way was almost as hard as uprighting the truck, but it's out of there now. Job's done successfully. The odds were stacked against us right off the bat. We get to a darn tow truck stuck. That cost us two hours waiting on a track hoe to get here. You can't plan for those things. We finally got it coming up and got it coming our way and everything was gravy from there.